Marciano personally. Uh, he had some legendary fights with Carmen Massilio. And to this day, Tony and Carmen have, have still have the record for the most people to attend a sporting event at Boston Garden. Nobody's ever done any uh, anymore. Celtics all those years with Bill Russell, Tony still holds the record. Tony was a welterweight champion, uh, um, undisputed uh, welterweight champion. And um, so we, we have the Brockton Athletic Hall of Fame, and we're inducting Tony in as a uh, adopted son of Brockton. I'm just going to read the proclamation from the mayor. Uh, official citation, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to Tony DeMarco in recognition of being inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Your distinguished boxing career has inspired many and will continue to do so now that you are a proper member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame in the City of Champions, we are always honored when a champion like yourself visits, and we cherish the relationship you have with the City of Brockton. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation on behalf of the Mayor as a symbolic of our appreciation. The situation, the citation, excuse me, is duly signed by the Mayor of the City of Brockton on this day, the 2nd of August, this was a while ago, by Mayor Moises M. Rodriguez. Thank you. Very kindly, I appreciate that. I didn't expect it, but uh, I'm glad I've been on the air. And it's been nice to be here and meet you people. And, uh, uh, and I'm honored with this black guy over here, and, and like, uh, like he said, I'm selling my book now, the story of my life, on the fight game that is, and uh, uh, so I'm anyone to like to like a book, and that's good. Grazie to the part. Yes, so the society, we've tried to kind of change up our hours a little bit. Um, we know that a lot of people are busy on weekends, so we decided to open on the second Wednesday of each month, including, so that'll actually start, well, it started several months ago, but it will include this coming Wednesday, uh, which is October 9th. And actually, it's a great week um, as part of Downtown Fest. All of the historical um, museums in Brockton are actually open or doing something this coming Wednesday on October 9th. But the Historical Society is open 5.30 to 7.30 on, again, the second Wednesday of each month. We're also open from 2 to 4 on the fourth Sunday of each month. That being said, we also will do tours. So if you're around and you're looking to come to Brockton or you can't come on our opening days, please send us an email and we'll do our best to accommodate a private tour. We've done that several times. Email us at Brockton Historical Society 1 at gmail.com. And usually I'm the one who gets those emails, so I'll try to either accommodate you myself or find one of our board members who can open the society for a tour. So, And we have both the homestead, where you can hear see different um, historical displays about, to, about Brockton and Brockton's history. And also, don't forget our wonderful fire museum about the history of Brockton um, Fire Department from the 1800s through the very present, so. Um, the old historic building was built, I believe, in 1867, if I have my facts correct. Um, that's where we have our board meetings and all our lectures and different events, and that's where our primary archives are. 
and um, we also have the, we're in custody of the Reverend Keith Parsonage on River Street um, across from a conservation land, which is Pratt's Landing, and we give tours there during the summer from April until October um, on Sundays from noon until three. Um, and our memorial building is open to the public on Mondays from, let me get the facts straight, from 5 to 8 p.m. And the address is? Um, um, oh, the 162 Howard Street. Yeah, I have my cheat sheet right here. Okay. Recent, uh, we'll probably put up the graphic so you, you yeah. won't, we won't show you. Yeah, and um, also on Wednesdays, Wednesdays from noon to 3, um, open to the public. Folks can stop by and check their family genealogy. And we do get a lot of traffic there during the summer. It's gone closed during the winter months, um, as, as is the, the Reverend Keith House for winter. Uh, Actually, the memorial building will continue to be open um, through the winter on the Wednesdays during the day. Yeah, but Wednesdays not, were open. Not Monday. Uh, membership is $20 a year per person or $30 for a family, which is very reasonable. And for that, they, uh, they get four newsletters a year. And um, certainly we have members from all over, including outside of Massachusetts, because a lot of the local families have moved elsewhere. So we encourage people to contact us and there's a phone at 508-559-1510 is our phone number and we're also on Facebook at um, www.oldbridgewater.org. With the Taunton River Watershed Alliance, okay. I'm currently the Vice President, okay. it's a all-volunteer nonprofit organization. Well, we do a few things. Um, one of the bigger things is we do water testing throughout the watershed, mm -hmm. uh, 20 different locations. Um, we check for nitrates, phosphorus, and uh, different bacteria. And we post it on our website. Uh, soon it'll be on a state website. Uh, but that way all the citizens can know and see where those areas are concerned and you know, if they want to get out and use the benefits of the watershed, they can and do it safely. Yeah, and it just helps because the state can't be everywhere. So as a volunteer group, we can just at least have the data available and can use it to help, um, you know, clean up projects or even just find areas of concern that they can work better with. It's, it's pretty large. It takes up the whole southeastern part of the state. Through our website, Facebook or Instagram, um, we always need help. We do a um, calendar contest every year mm -hmm. where... Um, Obviously, those are volunteers for uh, photographers. Um, we do the water testing. We do studies about um, a turtle, which we can talk about later. <laughs> sure, I see that. Um, we also do kayak trips. Um, any of that, we always need help with lawyers, accountants, any kind of talent, we could use the help. Yeah. If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive and well, you be there, I'll hold in my hand, i keep you by my side, my superhuman mind, kryptonite. You call me strong, you call me weak, but still your secrets I will for granted all the times I've never let you down I stumbled in and bumped your head 